Hello and welcome to this training series for the SU25T Frogfoot. Due to popular demand, I am going to show you how to open a mission that uh, allows you to fly around uh, and practice start up, starting up the aircraft, taxiing to the runway, taking off, and navigating. Um, I was going to put together a very quick primer on the mission editor, um, just to kind of get you going, but uh, it turns out that when I went to open up my mission, uh, DCS World already had <laughs> a mission set up for um, starting up the aircraft and navigating, so I'm just going to show you how to get there. It's going to be a real quick tutorial. Um, here we are at the main menu of DCS World. Uh, you should have a list of modules over here. Um, we're going to be flying the SC-25T. So come over here on the right hand side, you're going to go to Mission. Now I don't know where it's going to start you, it might start you in the My Missions directory, in which case any missions that you've downloaded from the internet or put together yourself uh, would be in here. Uh, click on this Drive drop down, scroll down to SU-25T, and select the Ramp Start and Navigation mission. And it gives you a little description of this mission. It says, please, please review the training videos and flight manual for detailed instructions. These are, uh, it refers to the tutorials that come with the game. Uh, you can watch those if you want. My tutorials are a little bit more in depth. Um, so if you've already watched mine, you really don't need to watch the ones that come with the game. Um, if you haven't watched mine, you, you could watch the ones that come with the game, but they're, they're lower quality uh, and a little bit less uh, informative. And it gives you a quick little recap on what the various keyboard commands are. Go ahead and click open. It'll bring you to here. Gives you a quick overview of where your aircraft is going to be flying to. Um, you can get a closer look if you want by clicking on Mission Planner down here. And it brings you into the mission editor, uh, a, a pared down version of the mission editor. You can't add planes or delete planes. But you can, uh, I think you can modify your flight plan. Yeah, if you wanted to, you can just click on a, any of the waypoints and, and move them around. But I don't think you can save. Nope, you can't save. But it gives you a top-down view of what your mission is going to be. Uh, you can zoom in and out on your mission by using your mouse wheel. You can click and drag. If you right-click and drag, the map will scroll. Um, you can select a weapons loadout if you want. Here's a bunch of presets for you. Uh, all of these presets here are exactly what are listed in the um, refuel, rearm dialogue that we get into in lesson one, part one of this lesson series. Um, so if you see something here that looks really cool and you want to maybe use it in the future, just remember what the name of the loadout is and you can find it in the drop down uh, once you're flying. And once you're done looking at your uh, overview of your mission, which in this case it's just taking off and going here, go ahead and click the exit button and click fly and that'll put you in the mission. Um, so that you can start up your aircraft, taxi to the runway, take off, and uh, hopefully you can navigate these waypoints. If you've watched parts one through three of my tutorial series, um, you should be able to complete this single mission. And actually these missions would be uh, great, a great way to uh, practice the rest of the tutorials that I've got coming up. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope this was informative. I hope this helps, and uh, happy flying.